students. In the previous episode, we learnt how to solve pair of linear equations using cross multiplication method. Let us today use the same method, cross multiplication method to solve the word problems. Let us start. This is exercise 3.5. So, students, let us use the cross multiplication method to solve the word problems. Here, we have question number 4. Form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions if they exist by any algebraic method. A part of monthly hostel charges is fixed and the remaining depends upon the number of days one has taken food in the mess. When a student A takes food for 20 days, she has to pay 1000 rupees as hostel charges, whereas a student B who takes food for 26 days pays 1180 rupees as hostel charges. Find the fixed charges and the cost of food per day. So, let us involve two variables here. Let us take the fixed charges to be rupees x and the cost of food per day be rupees y. So, according to question, we have fixed charges plus how many days she has taken food? For student A, we are taking, she has taken food for 20 days. So, 20 y is equal to she has paid 1000 rupees as hostel charges. This becomes our first equation and for student B, she has taken food for 26 days and she has to pay 1180 rupees. These are the two equations. Now, because any algebraic method, let us take cross multiplication method x, y and minus 1. I hope you remember the pattern 2, 3, 1, 2. So, 2, 3 is for constant term, 1 is coefficient of x and again coefficients of y. We call it as Teis Sobara method. So, easy to remember and solve. We need not even remember the formula. Now, 20 into 1180 gives me 16 1 yes minus 26000 is equal to y upon 1000 minus 1180 is equal to minus 1 upon 26 minus 20. So, we have 20 yes x upon minus 2 4 0 0 is equal to y upon minus 180 is equal to minus 1 upon minus 6. This becomes plus. Now, if I solve x and constant, what do I get? x is equal to 2400 by 6 gives me 400 rupees and what about y upon minus 180? We take here it will be y is equal to 180 upon 6. So, it is 30 rupees. So, we have got the answer. Fixed charges are rupees 400 and charges for food per day is rupees 30. This way we can find out the charges. I hope you have understood this. Now, let us go to the next part of this question. A fraction becomes 1 upon 3 when 1 is subtracted from the numerator and it becomes 1 upon 4 when 8 is added to its denominator. Find the fraction. Let the fraction be
x upon y. That means, numerator is x and denominator is y. It becomes 1 upon 3 when 1 is subtracted from numerator. 1 is subtracted from numerator, the fraction becomes 1 upon 3. Simple. Now, let us cross multiply 3 into x minus 1 is equal to y 3 x minus 3 is equal to y gives me 3 x minus y is equal to 3. This is our first equation. Let us get the second one. It is 1 is subtracted from numerator and it becomes 1 upon 4 when 8 is added to denominator. So, 8 is added to denominator, we get 1 upon 4. Again, we cross multiply 4 x is equal to y plus 8 or 4 x minus y is equal to 8. This is our second equation. Now, let us use the cross multiplication method x, y and minus 1. So, below x, I will write down coefficients of y and then comes our constant terms, coefficient of x and then coefficients of y. We multiply and subtract, multiply and then subtract. Yes. So, we obtain x upon it is minus 8, minus minus gives me plus is equal to here 4 3 is a 12 minus 24 is equal to minus 1 upon minus 3 plus 4. So, x upon minus 5, y upon minus 12 is equal to minus 1 upon 1. I hope the steps are clear. Now, we can write this as x upon minus 5 is equal to minus 1 that gives me x is equal to 5. Now, when we see these two y upon minus 12, I can get the value of y as 12. So, we have got the numerator and denominator. Numerator is 5 and denominator is 12. Therefore, the fraction is 5 upon 12. I hope it is clear. Now, let us go to the next part. Yash scored 40 marks in a test, getting 3 marks for each right answer and losing 1 mark each for wrong answer. Had 4 marks been awarded for each correct answer and 2 marks been deducted for each incorrect answer, then Yash would have scored 50 marks. How many questions were there in the test? Now, let us take number of questions which were answered correctly as x and number of questions answered wrongly as y. So, total number of questions obviously will be x plus y. So, let the number of questions correctly answered be x and number of questions incorrectly answered be y. So, according to question, now he is getting 4 marks if 3 marks are awarded for correct answer and 1 mark is deducted for every wrong answer, he gets 40 marks. Is the equation correct? Yes. Then next, had 4 marks been awarded for each correct answer, that means 4 x minus and 2 marks and deducted for incorrect. So, I will subtract uh, 2 into y and marks obtained were 50. Okay, so, let us use cross multiplication method x upon y upon minus 1 upon. So, minus 1, minus 2, 40, 50, 
and we have coefficients of x 3, 4 and minus 1, minus 2. Now, we follow the pattern 2, 3, 1, 2 and we get minus 50, minus minus gives me plus. So, it is 2 into 40 is 80 and y upon 40 into 4 is 160 minus 150 that is 2 3 is a minus 6 minus minus plus 4 that is x upon 30 and y upon 10 is equal to minus 1 upon minus 2 that gives me plus here. So, I get x is equal to what is 30 upon 2? 15 and what is y? It is 10 upon 2 that is 5. So, x is 15 and y is 5. Question is to find out the number of questions in the test. So, it is x plus y that gives me 15 plus 5 that is 20. There were 20 questions in the test. I hope students you have understood this. Okay, shall we go to the next question now? Here, places A and B are 100 kilometers apart on a highway. One car starts from A and another from B at the same time. Let us take the situation. This is A and this is B. They are starting at the same time. If the cars travel in the same direction at different speeds, let the speed of A be x kilometers per hour and speed of b be y kilometers per hour. Fine. Then, if the cars travel in the same direction at different speeds, they meet in 5 hours and if they travel towards each other, they meet in 1 hour. What are the speeds of the two cars? I already know speed is equal to distance upon time. Right? Now, in physics you study that. So, time is equal to distance upon speed. I can use, okay. So, we have according to question, what is the distance? We have, I can use time into speed, time is how much? 5 hours into speed of A minus time into speed of B is equal to 100 time into speed gives me distance. See the relative speed we have in this case because they are in the same direction. So, 5 x minus 5 y is equal to 100. 5 hours the A and B are meeting and the speeds are x and y. Total distance covered is 100. If I simplify this, I will get x minus y is equal to 20. Is it clear? Now, second condition if they travel towards each other, if they travel towards each other, they will meet early, right? So, what is the second condition? 1 into x plus 1 into y is equal to 100. 1 is the time multiplied by speed plus 1 into speed of b is equal to 100. Now, let us use the cross multiplication method. Now, below x we write down the coefficients of y 20 100 and here coefficient of x and again coefficients of y. Let us multiply and subtract. So, we obtain x upon minus 1 into 100 is minus 100 minus 20 is equal to it is 20 minus 100 is equal to minus 1 upon 1 minus minus plus. So, I get x upon minus 120 y upon minus 80 is equal to minus 1 upon 2. So, I have these two for x, x is equal to minus 120 is equal to minus 1 upon 2, minus cancels and x is equal to 120 upon 2 that gives me 60 kilometers per hour. 
speed of a is 60 kilometers per hour. Likewise, y is equal to 80 upon 2. So, y is 40 kilometers per hour. So, we have got the speed of a as well as b. This was the question, what are the speeds of two cars? The speed of car a is 60 kilometers per hour and b is 40 kilometers per hour. I hope it is clear. Now, let us go to the next part. So, students, let us do the next part of this question, which says the area of a rectangle gets reduced by 9 square units if its length is reduced by 5 units and breadth is increased by 3 units. If we increase the length by 3 units and breadth by 2 units, the area increases by 67 square units. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. Beautiful question. Now, let us take a rectangle here. Let the length be L and breadth be P. I am taking variables as L and B so that I need not remember what I have to subtract and from which I have to subtract. He says area. What is the area of a rectangle by the way? Area is L into B. Okay. So, the first condition is area of rectangle gets reduced by 9 square units. That means, my original area is L into B minus length is reduced by L minus 5 and breadth is increased by 3. So, breadth is increased by 3 and what is the change in the area? Area got reduced by 9 square units. Is the condition clear? This was original area L into B minus what were the changes made? Length was reduced by 5 units and breadth was increased by 3 units. So, change area is this. How much is the change in the area? 9 square units. Let us simplify this first. L into B minus L into B is L B, L into 3 is 3 L and minus 5 B and 5 3 is a 15 is equal to 9. So, L B minus if I open the brackets all the signs will change L B minus 3 L plus 5 B plus 15 is equal to 9. Look here L B and L B, L into B minus L into B gets cancelled. I have minus 3 L plus 5 B is equal to 9 minus 15. So, minus 3 L plus 5 B is equal to minus 6. Let us multiply by minus 1 to simplify. We have 3 L minus 5 B is equal to 6. I have multiplied by minus 1 throughout to change the signs. Now, let me see the next condition. It says that if we increase the length by 3 units, that means L plus 3 and breadth by 2 units. So, B plus 2. Area increases by, original area was less. How much it is increasing by? 67. Let us solve this. L into B gives me L B plus 2 L plus 3 B plus 6 minus L B is equal to 67. I hope it is clear. We can cancel minus L B and plus L B. We are left with 2 L plus 3 B is equal to 61, 67 minus 6 will give me 61. So, I have got two equations. Now, let us use cross multiplication method. Here, my x is L and y is B minus 1. Again, same pattern 2, 3, 1, 2. 2 is minus 5, 3, 6, 61, 3, 2, 3, 1. 1 is coefficients of L and again 2, minus 5 and 3. Top to bottom, bottom to top we subtract, top to bottom and bottom to top we subtract. 
So, what is 61 into 5? It is minus 305 minus 18 is equal to 6 to the 12 minus 183, 61 into 3 that is equal to minus 1 upon 3 3 is a 9 plus 10. Now, we will simplify L upon that gives me minus 323 B upon that gives me 171 minus 171. Am I right there? Yes, is equal to minus 1 upon 19. Now, if I solve for L, I will get 323 upon 19 that gives me 17 and breadth is 171 divided by 19 that is 9. So, it is length is 17 units and breadth is 9 units. These are the dimensions of the rectangle. I hope you have understood this. So, students, in this episode, we discussed about how to solve the pair of linear equations that is the word problems with the help of cross multiplication method. Now, it is time to take the assignment. Let us see the assignment questions here. Question number 1. Solve the following system of equations by using cross multiplication method 2 x plus 5 y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2 x plus 3 y minus 3 is equal to 0 simple equations. Question number 2, the cost of 5 oranges and 3 apples is 35 rupees and the cost of 2 oranges and 4 apples is 28 rupees. Find the cost of an orange and an apple. Question number 3, write the value of k for which the system of equations x plus k y is equal to 0 and 2 x minus y is equal to 0 has unique solution. Question number 4, for what values of A, the system of linear equations 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 7 and A minus 1 into x plus A plus 1 into y is equal to 3 A plus 1 represent parallel lines. I think the questions are simple, please try them. Thank you.